Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for telling my daughter that she needs to be realistic about her wedding? My stepdaughter which I consider my daughter, is getting married next spring. She is about to graduate college this fall with a degree in nursing. I took a big part in paying for her schooling so she wouldn't be burdened with loans. Now she is engaged and wants to get married come spring. Which is fine and it's her life, but she expect us to foot the bill for her lavish wedding, as her biological father is putting in a couple thousand, and the fiancé doesn't have parents as he grew up in foster care, so no support there for helping with the wedding and he too is in college for nursing. I told her since we are paying for her school, that she has X amount of dollars for her budget, and she totally lost it. Like went full entitled bratty kid and accused us of not supporting her or her dreams, or her dream wedding. I gave her alternative solutions and even mentioned putting the wedding off for a year so we could recoup money and save to plan her wedding. That was a big no apparently, so I ended up backing out altogether and her mom supports the decision. Lots of backlash from her biological father saying she should get the wedding of her dreams, and I agree, but she has to be reasonable. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole, sounds like it's the first time she's heard no. Not the a-hole. No one deserves the wedding of their dreams. You have the wedding you can afford. And if you have to go begging to three other people, two of whom are paying for your education, then you show humility, gratitude, and respect by graciously accepting whatever help they are comfortable offering. This is correct. And I love how someone who isn't footing the bill for the wedding says that OP should be. Amazing how generous people are with other people's money. Not the a-hole. If she is old enough to get married, she's old enough to pay for it. Sounds like she has a lot of growing up to do. My mother told me, if you're not old enough to pay for a wedding, you're not old enough to get married. That sucked to hear that and seemed unfair, but damn, am I now glad she said that. Not the a-hole, if her biological father is on her side, then he should pay for it. Would like to know how much the father paid for the nursing school. Less than 5%. Then he can pay for 95% of the wedding and you can pay less than 5%. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for uninviting my mom, then my aunt, then my sister to my wedding, after they wanted my fiancé to do this at the wedding? Me, male 30, and my soon-to-be wife, female 28, are expecting our first baby together. All my family are hardcore Christians. So they weren't happy with us having a baby before getting married. My fiancé and I decided to have the wedding before our baby arrives. Thankfully, everyone in the family supported this decision and wanted to help. We're getting married in March. However, the problem started when my fiancé was showing the women in my family pictures of her wedding dress. Mom and my aunt got mad at her for picking a dress that's revealing, and said that it'd show guests her pregnancy and they didn't want that. Said that they won't accept that and demanded she return slash replace it with another wedding gown to cover up. My fiancé was crying saying that my mom was pressuring her, and coming up with other wedding dress suggestions that aren't her style. I told my mom she was overstepping hugely. And that it's funny she thinks of her grandbaby as something to hide and be ashamed of. My mom got into an argument with me, lashed out and said I should not be putting them in this awful position. I told her she was uninvited since she refused to stop. She got my auntie involved. I simply replied to her shaming text, by telling her she too got uninvited to the wedding. I kid you not, my sister kept berating me and claiming my fiancé as being the problem and a bridezilla. I told her she too was uninvited, and I let it be known that everyone will be uninvited too if they try to get involved. That's when crap hit the fan. Now dad and the others are furious saying, Jesus Adam, you messed up big time, and went to call me uneffin' reasonable. Saying I need to re-invite my mom, and, sister ASAP and get my fiancé to return her offensive dress, because that's the least I could do for them. In fact, they said I should be on my knees begging them to show up after I made them look bad for getting my fiancé pregnant before getting married. I haven't talked to them yet. They made my fiancé feel bad about every choice we made. Including uninviting the family. My little sister likes my fiancé's dress. At least there's a supportive member in my family. My brother and his wife just keep parroting my mom's hurtful words, and calling me a doormat for doing this. Not the a-hole, uninvite the whole freaking family. You'll have a better time without them. Edit, yes yes, the little sister is cool, she can come. Only thing is, if she still lives with the parents, it may make her life unpleasant if OP invites her but leaves everyone else out. This. A wedding is a lot of work, 
and you and your fiancé should get to enjoy it. If your parents, sister, and aunt come, they're just going to trash talk the bride the whole night, leading to more family drama. Uninvite them all and enjoy your wedding. You might want to go low contact if they're going to trash talk your wife in front of the kids as well. Edit, forgot to add not the a-hole. Your family, with the exception of your little sister, sounds like a bunch of a-holes though. Not the a-hole. And while you're at it, you might want to uninvite your dad as well. Seriously, he's berating me and blaming me for reacting that way. But sees nothing wrong with what my mom does and think that I'm the problem. It's exhausting having to explain every time, but he chooses to side with her, and so does everybody else. Not the a-hole. Sounds like you're well on your way to being a wonderful husband and father who knows how to set boundaries for his family. This, he's handling their bullying like a champ. Next story is titled. Am I the a-hole for making mother-in-law's boyfriend tier 2 at our wedding? So, we got married recently and it had to be super low budget. Honestly my feelings were a little hurt, because when my husband's older sister got married a year ago, mother-in-law and father-in-law, divorced, went all out, but they are against us getting married because of our ages, both 20, and not being done with school, so they did not offer to help. My parents chipped in what they could, but like I said, it was super low budget. Mother-in-law lives about 2 hours away and we don't see her that much. She has been dating Chris for 9 months but we never met him. She wanted to bring him to the wedding which was fine, but to save money, we had tier 1 and tier 2. If you were in tier 1, you could pick from an Italian sausage, a steak, a hot dog, or a burger for dinner. If you were tier 2 it was just the burger or hot dog, and there was only enough cake for tier 1. Mother-in-law and Chris ended up to get food, and my cousin who was grilling asked what they wanted. No one told them about the tears, so Chris asked for steak. My husband overheard and explained the tears, only family and a couple best friends were tier 1. Chris was laughing, but said it was okay, but mother-in-law made a big deal. She called us rude and tacky three times. My husband told her to stop causing a scene, and Chris said it was really okay, but she was clearly pissy. Mother-in-law texted us the next morning that our party was embarrassing, and that we are tacky. Most of the people seemed to get that we were saving money, and I didn't have any complaints. Father-in-law and sister-in-law agree with mother-in-law though, and said we were bad hosts. Now for the comments. You're the a-hole for having tiered food like that at your wedding. Seriously, so disrespectful to anyone in tier 2. Yikes. At least their friends and family know where they stand with the newlyweds now. One of the nastiest and tackiest things I've ever heard of at a wedding. I went to a wedding like this. The married couple obviously wanted a society wedding on an elopement budget. The reception was at a hotel, in a venue at the bottom of the garden. While the wedding party had photos done for 1.5 hours, we had to wait around in the sun as it has transpired. Non-wedding party guests weren't allowed in the hotel itself. No drinks were provided. Then at dinner, the top table got a different meal from everyone else. Our food was dreadful. I'm sure for the bride and groom they thought their wedding was posh and sophisticated. To us mere mortals, it was tacky and tedious, and for all their desire to be seen as classy, they just seemed cheap and thoughtless. Worst thing about OP's wedding is, if she hadn't had steak, she probably could have afforded cake for everyone. You're young. Your older self will wonder what in the world you were thinking. This just isn't done. Cringeworthy. This kind of decision-making ability, is exactly why you shouldn't get married at 20. You're the a-hole. You cannot treat guests like second-class citizens. Just do burgers and hot dogs for everyone if your budget is too low to offer everyone premium food. I can't even get past this without saying you're the a-hole. I'll read the rest, but seriously, are you kidding? Edit, I read the rest. All I can say is, are you freaking kidding? Also, I'm suspicious of every obvious post lately, since there are OPs out there who post stories that readers feel have egregiously clear judgments, one way or the other. Said posts proceed to rack up hundreds of sincere opinions, only to several hours later be updated with a smug, gotcha. That said, I have no proof this didn't happen exactly as you say it did. Thus, once again for the cheap seats, you're the a-hole. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for convincing my cousin not to choose a specific wedding dress because I wanted it myself? I'm gonna be completely upfront, I may have done a despicable thing. I'm, 26 female getting married to my partner, 28 male, of 7 years at the end of the year. My cousin, 30 female, is also getting married a month after my wedding. 
Due to our weddings being close together, my cousin and I have been bonding over it. A few weeks ago, my cousin and I went out to lunch and afterwards we decided to go to a bridal store to browse the dresses. My cousin spotted a dress that she loved, and I did too. I've been having a tough time finding the perfect dress, and this was the first dress I've come across that I could genuinely imagine myself wearing. But my cousin seemed to really like it, and so I started saying negative things about the dress, and how she'd suit a dress with straps instead of long sleeves etc. I succeeded in convincing her that the dress wasn't for her, and a week later I went back to the store with my sister and best friends to try the dress on, and well, I ended up picking it as my wedding dress. I highly doubt that she will remember the dress by the time my wedding day comes around, so I didn't expect any drama to occur. Two days ago, my cousin messaged me excitedly to tell me that she finally chose her wedding dress and well. It's the exact same dress from the store that I chose. I had no choice but to tell her that I got that dress as well. She was confused because she thought I hated the dress, so I told her the truth that I only lied because I wanted the dress for myself, and now she's pissed off and she's calling me a snake. I am stressing out, I don't want to wear the same wedding gown as my cousin, and now my cousin is so mad at me. I guess I can see why I might be the villain here, but on the other hand, I wanted the dress. It's in my price range and it's the exact style that I was looking for. I was simply trying to protect my dream wedding dress and I don't think I'm a bad person for that. Am I the a-hole? You're the a-hole. She found a dress she loved for her wedding. Her wearing that dress for her wedding doesn't mean you can't wear it for yours. But you tried to manipulate her because you had to be the only one with that dress. You decided to be selfish and steer someone away from something they really really loved because you had to be 1000% special. News flash, the dress wasn't custom made. Other brides were wearing it at their weddings. It's not just your dress. And your selfish manipulation caused all this drama. But OP's wedding is special, so I'm sure no other bride will wear the same dress. You're the a-hole because you lied. You didn't have the courage to say, I love it too and would really like it for my wedding. Heck, you guys could have had a bonding moment and decided to both wear the same dress. After all, it's not like your wedding pictures are going to be hanging next to each other and it's kind of cute. But now you're just the a-hole who chose to lie to your cousin so you could have what you wanted. Two of my cousins wore the same dress to prom. Not the same design, the actual same dress. They went to different schools, so one of them wore it, and then it was sent to the other, a few alterations for fit, and she wore it a few weeks later. They both looked stunning, it was a dress that neither could have afforded on their own, and I still think it's just about the cutest thing ever. Obviously OP, I don't think you should literally wear the same actual dress with your cousin. Though I mean you could have, I guess. But you could have shared, or at the very least, you could have been honest. You're the a-hole. Your cousin has as much right to the dress as you. Added to add, also, what about your cousin's dream wedding? Does she not deserve to find the perfect dress for herself? Everything you said as a reason to explain your actions was self-centered and dismissive of your cousin. None of your reasons for wanting the dress outweigh your cousin's reasons for wanting the dress. But she wanted it, so it's morally okay. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.